Thank you for tuning in to Tanaka TV, the best and future biggest fight channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. We're trying to get this channel to over 1K by the end of the year, and I am confident that we can do that. We need just about 50 more subs, people. Just about 50 more for this channel to hit a milestone, but I cannot do that. We cannot do that. This channel cannot do that without your support. So I truly am thankful for those who support this channel and those who will support this channel in the future. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, this video is going to be kind of twofold. We're going to be talking about two different subjects, one a little bit brief. And then the other, you guys know what we're about to talk about, okay? It's, 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 it's in the header. It's, it's, it's in the, the, the title of this video. But first, I would like to send my deep and genuine and humble condolences to Francis Ngannou, who has just recently uh, lost his baby boy. Now, I, I'm not sure as to why, you know, I, I think all of those things are kind of to the side. That's besides the main point. I just cannot imagine losing a family member like this that okay i have brothers i have nieces i have nephews cousins i don't have any children of my own but i can i can i can't imagine losing a child a baby boy at that a baby girl that is that is something that is extremely hard for me to even fathom and so anybody who's ever gone through that I send my condolences and that's probably one of the toughest things that anybody on this planet can go through. Now, I've lost my grandmother. That was extremely tough. And, and, and we're talking about different stratospheres of pain here. OK, losing a family member in general is painful. But there's that saying that a parent should never have to bury their children. And here Francis is having to do that. So rest in peace to his son. I, I feel terrible. And, and what makes me feel sick, people, and, and then we're going to go on to, to, to the main course of, 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 this, of this video. What makes me sick is that people still have room to make jokes, to make light of this situation. Keyboard warriors, they're, they're at an all-time high of, of just being sick individuals. I don't know what kind of life you guys are living, but you're not clearly living it right. If you can still make light of somebody's pain, deep and, and, and extreme pain, this man reached out to social media. Now, was that the, the best thing to do? You know, in regards to trying to find the answers to your pain, it's hard for me to say yes or no. He is trying to go about this the best way that he can. And for him to reach out to the community and for some of you to make light of it, it's just, you guys never cease to amaze me. So rest in peace to Francis Ngannou's son, and um, I, I send my condolences. I, I, I send my condolences. And so we're going to get to a little bit of a lighter topic here. It's still, it's still a pretty crazy topic, okay? We're, we're going to talk about Ronda Rousey recently coming out with statements about her kind of feeling slighted by MMA media and by people that she thought were, were her friends. I think the one who took the... The biggest stray was Joe Rogan. Now, I have a couple of statements uh, from, from Ronda Rousey that I think that would be interesting for you guys to hear. Here's one of the statements she made. It was really disappointing to see how happily everybody turned on me and how people like Joe Rogan, who were crying in the, in the ring about the honor of being able to call my fights, people I considered friends. And the media so quickly turned on me. 
Rousey said of the media's reception to her UFC losses, I am also kind of grateful for it in a way because it forced me to separate other people's perception of me from my own perception of myself. I do not enjoy being paparazzi famous. I hate it. Here's another one. My mouth guard was bad, Rousey admitted. I literally came into that fight concussed from slipping down some stairs already after all these years of concussions. Then I had an absolutely terrible weight cut, which means you have less fluid in your brain to protect it. So I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, a lot of people in the MMA world think that Ronda Rousey is coming up with all kinds of excuses as to her downfall uh, as an MMA champion and as an MMA fighter. I'm here to say I side with them. Now, I get it. There might have been a whole bunch of things that have gotten in the way of you performing at your peak and things of that nature. However, however, that does not change the fact that how you handled the, the losses after your fights was probably some of the worst. Now, I, I by no means can say, oh, you should handle your losses this way. You should handle your losses that way. We all go through things differently and we handle things differently. However, when you compare how you lost to other champions, especially of your magnitude, you handled it poorly. And you're going about it still poorly in my mind. You are coming up with excuses. You slip down the stairs. Come on. That's like, that, that, that just reminds me of like an elementary school, you know, kid saying, oh yeah, I don't have my, my homework because my dog ate it. Like that's, that, that, it's on the same lines of that. And then you want to take shots at Joe Rogan for not having your back. He is an MMA commentator and analyst. And he is going to call it how he sees it through the eyes of an MMA commentator and analyst. And so if he thinks that the information that you're putting out is bullcrap, he's going to say that. You decide to take it personally. You made that decision. And then you're expecting people to reach out to you and say, oh, I feel so, so sorry for you. Did you once try to contact Joe Rogan and try to make things clear? I don't know. It's a question. But for you to take things so personally is why people aren't, they, 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 they don't have your back because that was, the, that, that, that was your, that was your motto. That was, that was how you handled things in the MMA. You always took things so personally in the art of competition. What else? You had a bad weight cut. So do many fighters. You're not the only one who's had a bad weight cut and you're using that as an excuse. So you slipped downstairs. You were concussed. You had a bad weight cut. You still chose to perform. So that is on you, Ronda Rousey. And this is coming from a guy that I still think that you had some of the most dominant wins as an MMA fighter. You had one of the craziest runs as an MMA champion. You were the leading face for putting women's MMA on the map. You just dropped the ball, in my opinion. Because you couldn't separate your personal feelings enough from the MMA game. And of course, MMA media is going to attack that. Of course, MMA fans are going to attack that. That's really all I have to say about the situation, people. Comment down below what you think about this. What you think about Ronda Rousey's comments. Was she right? Was she just to say these things about Joe Rogan and the MMA media? Or was she out of place? Was she out of pocket? I'd like to get your thoughts. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, that comment, that subscribe button. You've just tuned in to Tanaka TV. We're trying to get to that. We're trying to get to that 1,000 people. I can't do it without you. And I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace.